There, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith with an update on what we're tracking in your forecast here. I'm going to pull up the lows for our area. We've got some really cold air moving into the region, and we are looking at some cold weather across the Gulf Coast as we go into this forecast here. Uh, we're going to start out with a hard freeze warning for our area, and this is going to be a real issue as we look at it for most areas along and north of I-10 as you head up into northern Parts of the area, we're talking about lows in the 20s with some teens for wind chills. So watch out. Greene County, George County, Washington, Clark, Monroe, Connecticut, and now added to this uh, Mobile County north along the north of Interstate 10, Mobile County just south of I-10 to the north part of the county, and now the Panhandle County is included in the hard freeze warning for tonight. And so we expect to see some really cold temperatures in here. I'm going to pop up the lows for our area for tonight. And this is what we're going to see with those overnight lows. We're talking 23 in Mobile, 22 in Evergreen here, 28 in Pensacola. The last round of cold weather we had brought us overnight lows that were down into the upper teens in many spots. The coldest we saw was around 13, 14 degrees. This one's going to be a little more in the 20s, but still we're talking about 23 in Mobile and the last cold spell we had earlier in the week, we hit 19. So it's basically the same thing, even though temperatures are up slightly, it is a hard freeze for us. We don't see any cloud cover out there this afternoon. Skies look pretty clear across the area and that's setting the stage for the colder weather tonight. I want to talk a little bit about the wind chill though and let you know what we're seeing here with the possibility of some very intense wind chill values getting into the forecast area for tomorrow morning. Very likely that our wind chill values will be in the teens. And so here's a look at those predicted wind chill values for tomorrow morning. Our temperature is going to be feeling like the single digits with the wind chill in Evergreen, Grove Hill, and Chatham. So our wind chill values are actually looking colder than what we were thinking earlier because the wind stays up some tonight. 11 in Mobile for a wind chill tonight. 11 in Admore, 9 in Chatham, 7 in Grove Hill. And that wind does not help at all with the freezing conditions. No, the wind chill is not the actual temperature it is outside. But when you have wind, it blows the cold air underneath houses and in little nooks and crannies and into your plumbing. And so the cold air is able to penetrate more. And of course, that's the way it feels to us too. So not an ideal situation there. As we look at our forecast temperatures across the area for tonight, here's what we're seeing as we look at the next couple of nights. We've got a deep freeze for two nights. And uh, looking at it here, you can see we are looking at the situation, temperatures in the low 20s for Saturday and then Sunday at 21. So we've got some even colder weather there on uh, Sunday. And then we start to pull out of it. We've got a light freeze on Monday and then we see temperatures getting back closer to or above average. Next week will be above average and wet. We expect rain showers Tuesday through Saturday, possibly even into Sunday. We're going to have four or five days next week with temperatures that will be way above normal and rain. So the big thaw is coming, but before it gets here, it looks like a hard freeze for your Friday night and your Saturday night, and that's going to include all communities across the Gulf Coast with freezing temperatures and that hard freeze in the areas that I showed you generally along and north of Interstate 10. Plan accordingly. You don't want to let your guard down. The pets need to come indoors as well as the planets. You got to cover those plants that are sensitive outside. Bring those in that you can. And then we're definitely concerned about the pipes again tonight, the next two nights. This is not a light freeze. This is not even a moderate freeze. It is a hard freeze for our area tonight and tomorrow night. And really, you know, you get that second wave of cold air Ground's a lot colder than it was when the last one came through here. And so that makes the pipes more vulnerable. And that second night tomorrow night could be especially problematic for some of those areas. So look out for the possibility of frozen pipes and try to avoid that scenario. Save yourself some money and repairs and sheetrock work and all that good stuff and plumbing. Uh, and just do some maintenance and you should be okay. I'll have an update on your forecast. Meteorologist Jennifer Lambers is live now at the King Cake Cookoff, and I'll be in for the 4 and the 5 o'clock hours, as well as the 9 and the 10, coming up in our forecast tonight here on Fox 10 News. That's what we're seeing here 
from the Storm Tracker Center. We'll have more coverage on Fox 10 News tonight. And of course, next week, we'll be back here with you in the afternoons, generally around 2 o'clock in the afternoon with our CTV, our Gulf Stream updates. And we have these available also on Facebook and on Fox 10 News. And when we get into that forecast next week, it's likely going to be active with showers and some storms. More on that, too, on Fox 10 News tonight.